Now, how do you raise money, Robin? We do different things. We've had fashion shows in the past. Um, we run trips. I can read you a list of our trips that we're well, getting to. Oh, sure. sure. Okay. Here we go. Maybe if somebody These out there wants to go home. Sure. We're having uh, August 13th. We're having a trip to Yankee Stadium where the Yankees versus the Orioles. We have a trip to Monmouth Park Racetrack on August 26th. We have a gift card raffle coming on October 1st. We have Macy's Shop for a Day cause, Shop for a Cause Day on October 13th. We have a trip to the New Jersey Culinary Institute November 7th. A Broadway trip um, to Curtin's December 5th. And I think we're going to be Smith's for lunch, although I can't swear to that just yet. And a trip to New York City for City Lights Tours uh, on December 13th. And how, how would you usually encourage, I mean, is your enrollment for these events usually high, 50, 100? Uh? We try to get as many people. We'll accommodate you. If we need to get another bus, we'll get another bus to go. The more the merrier. Mm -hmm. And all of the revenue that we raise, or most of the revenue that we raise, will go to pay down the pledge. And uh, do you, uh, how many auxiliary members are there? Right now we have 136, and we just got 12 new ones this um, this year. And how do you get the word out to people to be an auxiliary member? It's well, our public relations department, Kathy Salomon and Doug Harris, were very, very helpful this year. They have uh, made us a, a part of the newspapers. They have articles out. We send out to the general public. They've been kind enough to include me in their mailings. And we're here with you today. And so if anybody wants to become an auxiliary member, how, who would they call or how would they get sure, a Sure, if they're interested in any of the programs or joining the auxiliary, all they need to do is call us at our office. It's 908-994-8988. Or they can reach us on the web, www.trinitashospital.org. Now, do auxiliary people uh, visit with patients at all or just strictly educational? Actually, we have volunteers that are throughout the hospital. We have over a 1,000 um, people that are volunteers at our hospital in various capacities, and certainly visiting patients, giving out newspapers, helping make callbacks for uh, women who've had mammographies or, or a variety of capacities. And we welcome people to our hospital. We're the only hospital in Elizabeth, as you know, so we need to make sure that people know they can come there, they can volunteer there, they can, the doors are always open. Now, you both sound like it's always an upbeat thing, which is good, but I always like to ask the question, what's the downside to being an auxiliary member? Is there it isn't time? One. There isn't one. <laughs> there really is. But there's got to be time away from your family or something or time. You know, or you just, you just find it. You find You it. find the time. It's so important. You know, I've been afraid of tests that I've had to have. I'm sure other people are afraid. The, the I don't think give people back. are afraid of tests. They're afraid of the results. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, sometimes <laughs> both. But sometimes yeah. both. And it's just a question of being there for your fellow man. It just, it's so rewarding. There is really not a downside to this at all. So you, you sound really thrilled that you're doing this. I How love How long doing is your this. term as chairman? So far, I took over in December, and as long as they want me, I'm here. Oh, so you're not elected to a specific term. You're, no. Okay. No, I'm and here for the duration. You're here for until, a while. Until well, with your attitude, I don't think they're letting you go. Until they right? tell me they don't want me anymore. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think they're letting you go. I mean, and we just, welcome well, everybody to join. The but extent. we really need, you know, there's so many people out there with ideas, and they're sitting home, and they think of things to do, and it's and they don't have any place to tell them or any place to go with them. Come to us. We're looking for people. We love your ideas. If you can't be at every meeting, that's okay. If you can be there and you want to help one day a week, a half a day a week, an hour a week, if you can't help but once a month, that's okay. Now, do you, do you think um, when you got this phone call that in order to get involved, have you made a phone call to other people and said, hey? Absolutely. And, and people and, were very willing and to Did join. they respond? Mm -hmm. uh, very positively. We increased by 12 members in the last five months. And it's basically because of a personal touch by you. Absolutely. The or they called because they read something in the newspaper and they were interested in one of our programs, going to the theater. I met somebody in a nail salon who's, who decided she wanted to go to our last theater trip, which was um, the Pirate Queen. And so, you know, just word of mouth. It works well. Mm -hmm. I still got a kick out of that candy striper comment. By the okay, way. well, I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> dating I remember, myself, but that's yeah, okay. I remember that. It was good. I know I enjoyed it. It's good to hear. Well, I, I want to thank all of you for the work that you do, Nadine. How's fundraising going for the hospital? Well, we're working at things. You know, we built a cancer center, that $28 million uh, cancer center on Broad Street. We're very proud. Uh, we actually had over 20,000 patient visits this past year, so that was one of our major undertakings. We did raise $13 million in our overall capital campaign.
campaign. We're very thankful. Now we have a buy a bed program. We find that there are people who come to our hospital that want to do something to thank us or people in the community Absolutely. who recognize. So they buy a bed? Need. What is it? Yes, we're charging $10,000 a bed and people can pay for that at one time or over a number of years. So and if they get sick, they got a bed? Well, they have a little plaque on a bed. Oh, they have a so plaque, they, but they're not yeah. necessarily going to get it if they get sick. That, well, that, no. if they the want beds are better. <laughs> <laughs> well, because the hospital has undertaken a, a $2.8 million um, renovation project where they're changing all the beds and all all the actually all the furniture in the patient rooms we have 531 beds as you know and all the ones at Williamson Street um, comprise a good bit of those and we'll be uh, redoing all the furniture and all the beds everybody will be uh, in new um, in new digs when they get there if good. they need to be and well I want to thank the both of you for joining us on the show Robin I thank appreciate you. all your uh, excitement and Nadine all of your excitement for the goals at Trinitas we thank you thank you and we also thank you for all your work and we thank, thank you mayor thank you. for leading us for Nadine Breckner and Robin McHugh and Wyona Ankrum on the first part of the show, I'm Chris Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City.